What's up, Gizmos? Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. Let's turn the gain up on this bitch. Because last time, last time I, list, I uh, watched the last episode, it was quiet as fuck. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. Ugh. Let me tell you, I'm in a, such a shitty mood right now. The past couple of days, I have... Oh, it's just been fuck, fucked up. Totally fucked. I gotta, I gotta go to work again. Well, I mean, not obviously, but... Remember last... There was a few episodes back, I did a couple episodes in a hotel room. Because I had to go away for work. You know, that happens sometimes. In in the oil field, you gotta go away to work sometimes. And in other professions, you gotta go away. It was two weeks, two and a half weeks, okay? And there's something about me, whenever I leave my, uh, my comfort zone, which is my home, anything that I'm used to and I go try to do something new like go work somewhere I get extreme anxiety and I get unbelievably depressed and it's uh, it's horrible it's an unbelievable uh, nightmare it's insane and now I gotta go fucking I'm going back to work for two whole months Two whole months, I'm going to be gone away from my house. Three hours away, which isn't too far. (sighs) But it's really, really stressing me out. And I can't stand it. I can't... All the negative thoughts just uh, come into my head. And I bought this book to help me, you know, to help deal with this anxiety. Because the, the job that I'm working at right now, it's not a job I like. You know, most people don't like their jobs. Um, but this is one that's like, I don't know. It's, a, it's, almost, it's almost above and beyond that I don't, you know, I don't like it. I'm saying you know a lot, aren't I? Ah. Uh, This sucks. This really sucks. I do not want to. I'm, g- I'm going to be gone for two months. I'm going to try to do a, at least a couple of podcasts. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to try to do podcasts while I'm away. But who knows how fucking depressed I'm going to be. It's going to be insane. We're under the green cards now. Welcome to episode 25, biatches. Let's keep her talking. <sighs> Someday in the future, I might, I'm might. i going to look back at this podcast and I'm going to be like, I remember that. I remember that feeling. It fucking blows, man. It blows so much. It puts you in this state of mind where... um, Actually, let let me just do something right here. Testicle. Oh, that's why. When I plug directly into the microphone... It's much louder, but I was plugging into the, that shit, Uh, (laughs) I was plugging directly into the computer, into the, into the speakers, and it was quieter. Oh, my exes live in Texas. 
That's why I lay my head in Tennessee. <gasps> Come on, baby. I said, oh, my exes live in Texas. That's why I lay my head in Tennessee. Woo! I used to think Tallahassee was in Texas. I get Tallahassee and Tennessee confused. Tallahassee kind of seems like a place that would be in Texas. But it ain't. I'm not even American. I'm from Canada. I'm Canadian. Ah, oh, shit. Well, yeah, uh, I don't know if I said this already, but I'm so depressed. I'm putting on an act right now. I'm trying to be happy as I can. Which is what I do in my normal life. Because I have aggressive anxiety and depression I have always had it um it's just it's super intense so intense it really it just comes over you it takes over and there's a uh, you know you have people telling you telling you to think positive and and avoid the negative thoughts but it's so hard. You can't. At least right now I can't. I don't have enough knowledge to to get past it. It's just uh it's completely surrounding me and it's got me tight in a hold. It's like it it, it threw a potato sack over me and tied the tied it shut and I just have to sit here and take it until uh, the bag dissolves it was a shitty metaphor because because when did when do bags dissolve I don't oh let's talk about this shit on this stupid card ah oh. How far are we into this? Seven minutes? Almost eight. That's it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And that's another thing. I'm doing these podcasts. Okay. And if I'm real, which I am, I'm this depressed right now. I'm very depressed, but I told myself today. Just do the podcast. It's you, you know, you got to stay with this consistency. And I said I was going to, so I'm doing it. I'm staying consistent. I'm making the podcasts. It's going to happen, okay? But when you have anxiety and depression as badly as I do, okay? It's very hard to do the things that you would normally do. Because you look at it and you're just like, I can't I can't. I got too sad. And you you just feel like crying over nothing. It's not even something to worry about. I mean, I'm going away for two months. It's a long fucking time. But it could be longer. It could always be longer and it could always be worse. I could be going to war. If I was going to, like, that's like the ultimate, ultimate you know <laughs> like if I had to go to war I don't know like if I was born in the the uh, during the era of when World War 2 happened and where you had to get automatically drafted into the war I'd be fucked I'd shoot myself in the head instantaneously before I even got anywhere close to the military. God damn. It's so crazy. How this affects me. And I keep thinking about it. What if. 
what the fuck is gonna happen when I'm like, when something actually aggressive and terrifying enters into my life? How am I gonna deal with that shit? If I can't even deal with this, how am I gonna deal with this with anything else that's gonna happen? Because obviously, something worse is gonna happen. It's inevitable. It's scary. And I never, I never talk about my feelings. I hate it. I've always hated it. And I've always refused to. Even though there's something inside of me that really wants to get it out. It's, uh, this anxiety makes me not want to let it out at all. Because the thought that comes to my head is, well, this person that I'm trying to tell my thoughts to is probably just getting annoyed and doesn't want to listen to me. That's what's running through my head. <sighs> and so it sits, and it builds up, and it builds up, and it really builds up fast. And then it fucking explodes at one point. And then that's a horrible, that's so horrible, it's a shitty, shitty feeling. And I've never recorded my feelings. Well, I might have done it on the Lit Feud Hughes podcast, but I can't even, I can't remember if I did or not. So this is like the first time I've ever actually shared feelings. I mean, I do it through texting, because you don't actually have to actually talk to people. Um, I thought this might have been a strategy to help cope. You know, I could let it out via the podcast, which is what I would have done anyway. If I, if I were to just come onto here and just read everything that was on here and try to pretend like everything was normal, it wouldn't work out. People would see right through it. So I figured, I'll just tell tell people what's going on. I do have a journal, and I've always had a journal, but I usually only write in the journal when I'm sad. Um, and it it does help writing for a little bit but it doesn't help that much the only way that you know I'm gonna get over this situation is either A the job gets cancelled and I don't even go or B I go do it come back and then when I come back I'll feel refreshed and fine and relieved the only problem is the process of getting to that point is fucking brutal because it's a it's like a hill you know you gotta climb the hill which is the process of doing the work and dealing with the stress and depression and anxiety and then you know you peak the hill when you peak the hill that's when you become comfortable with your situation because after a certain point if you've been somewhere for long enough, you adapt and adjust. Even if it, even if initially you hated it, if you stay there long enough, you'll adapt and you'll like it. Or not like it, you'll become used to it. <sighs> so it'll probably take maybe a week... Or maybe even two weeks. It'll probably be fucking two weeks before I'm actually comfortable enough at this work that is two months, three hours away from my house. So yeah, I'm gonna be living in a hotel. I don't. I didn't mention that. Just the thought of it is like, fuck. It's so scary to me. And I've always been that way. Leaving home? Uh Uh-uh. I don't like it. I don't like it. 
if it's a, you know if it's a short period of time, I'm okay. Like two weeks is the max. I'm willing. I don't want to do any longer than that. But sometimes you have to. There's certain situations where things happen and you just do it. I don't even want to talk about this stuff on this card. I might save it for the next podcast. Nah, I'll talk about it. (laughs) Or, or, Or maybe I won't. It's my podcast. I don't have to do... I don't have to read what's on this card. Which I said that already. I could just talk about depression the whole time. And anxiety. But is that is that worth listening to? I don't think so. Uh, this podcast might not even be worth listening to. I mean the whole thing in general. But like I said, I'm staying consistent and I'm just going to do it. You just do it every day. Every day. Okay? You do it. And, uh, not every day, but you do it, uh, consistently. And like I said, in the past many times, you know, eventually you'll build an audience. It'll come. Or, or it might not. But you still gotta keep doing it. I just keep looking at this card. There's actually quite a few topics to talk about. It's almost a full card. I'm just not feeling it. I'm really not fucking feeling it. But I'll just do it. Okay. So. Uh, I'm not going to talk about all the topics. Because some of the topics on here are. Uh, really in depth but I had no idea I was going to be this depressed when I was writing this stuff down because I write all this stuff down way in advance of the podcast so I guess I should say be prepared for a different backdrop lower audio quality and lower video quality because I'm going to be doing podcasts in a hotel room with Laptop mic, laptop camera, which uh, isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely not as good as this or that camera. And that camera that I'm using, it's good, but it's not the best. I definitely need to upgrade. I got that thing in 2000 and 11, 12, I don't know. I'm not going to talk about any of this. Fuck it. I don't care. I don't know. I just... uh, (sighs) I'm not feeling it, man. This is going to be a short podcast. Oh. It's not too bad. It's almost 20 minutes. Time flew by. (sighs) I think I'll just end it right here. I know it was a shitty podcast. But what do you do? What do I do? There's nothing like a nigga, bruh. Nothing like a nigga, bruh. I'm, I'm in a horrible mood right now. Well, not right now. I was in a horrible mood most of the day today and yesterday. Because it's getting so close to me having to leave. And I've just been dealing with that. That's all I've been doing. Because it just, it takes over your mind. And it's, you can't stop thinking about it. It's the only thing you think about. Anyway. Peace. And I'll see you in the next one.